Jürgen, obviously it's been good to see Luis Diaz training with the group. How ready is he to return to full team action? And Darwin Nunes as well, will he be fit enough to play this weekend? Um, so, starting with Luis. Luis is back in small parts of training. Um, after a very long, long time out, um, it's really fantastic to have him back. Such an energizer, such a boost for everybody having him around. But we have to, he will not train today with us, he is already outside running. So um, this week was the first step back into team training. Did, yeah, parts of it. Next week I think he, we will increase that, maybe full parts team training and then he is ready, I think. But we have, we said we have to, we have to judge them every day how he deals with uh, with the intensity. So that's what we have to see. But it looks really promising, really promising. So I think we are really final stages of him being back. Um, Darwin was uh, couldn't train for two three days this week still because of the cut he got against Real Madrid um, on his foot. Um, but was yesterday then back in full training. So yeah. He's definitely in contention. Obviously, it's a big week when you look at the team you've got a face start. <laughs> you think so. With Manchester City. Um, I just wonder, obviously, we're used to seeing you as well and City fighting it out for the title. So, how comparable is it when you're facing City needing points in the title race compared to now where you're facing City? Obviously, needing points to continue that push for Champions League qualification. City themselves needing points as well, obviously, in the title race. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, super important game. That's that's the one thing is what not different um, to all the other years because uh, obviously for us super important for City super important. So apart from that, yeah, it's not. I'm not sure if in the moment it's not. I don't think it's. Could not say it's nicer to fight for the title or whatever. In the moment, it's it's just about we have to win football games, um, and you get usually what you deserve if you if you um, work hard enough, and um, that's what we try. Uh, but we know it's a it's a massive game, a massive week coming up, for, um, and but for tomorrow, obviously they deserve all the attention. Eh? <laughs> uh, we should not think about the other games, um, and that's how we approach it. So the boys are now back. Um, some of them trained today the first time. That's how it is with um, international duties, um, but it's not different, no different to the city situation for them. It's the same. So we will see. Um, yeah, it's clear against City you have to. Um, be on top of your game. You have to defend on a super high level and you have to um, play football as well because that's what normal, it's completely normal with the, with the dominant, the kind of dominance they can um, show. Uh, it's really difficult to not to forget that you, you know, in your spells you have to play football as well and that's what we in the good games always did and that's what we have to do now again. And um, yeah, that's it. Obviously, from City side, there seems to be uncertainty over whether Haaland will be fit enough to play as well. When there's a player like that who's such a focal point for their attack, how does it impact your preparations when there's that kind of uncertainty as to whether he will land for them? Yeah, not too much because it's a most first and foremost. But when you prepare a game, um, then you prepare all the things um, pretty much to avoid the final pass. And that's where then Erling obviously really comes into the game <laughs> and makes all the difference. Um, but if he cannot play in Alvarez's place, that doesn't make that makes City different, but not weaker. Uh, so because City is used to play without uh, that, Alvarez is obviously a, a proper striker, but they, they they became champion without a striker, so they 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 have different ways. Um, yeah, it's different, but that's a situation. I don't think uh, City knows already. Who oh, will line up? Maybe they are not bothered, um, but um, that's how it is. You don't never know 100% who can play on Quimbledon. You have to play, to prepare for different um, for different scenarios, and that's what we do. Um, you've already spoken about how to concentrate on this game, but it's a, a big week generally. Weeks like this, three big teams in space of nine days. Does it get your adrenaline? Yeah, it? yeah, definitely. It's like a Champions League week. We are, I know we are out. But you can play, obviously, if you go far enough, you can have an English team in midweek in Champions League, stuff like this. So these things are possible, and we had that already in the past. So, um, yeah, super. So I'm super excited, absolutely.
but that's um, the thing. Look, we are not dumb, at least not um, particularly. Bound. I mean, so we have we, we know that we have the last game we played was in Madrid. Was not a good game. Um, the game before was Bournemouth. Wolf was not a good game. The game before was world class. So um, so we have to make sure that um, yeah that we pick up from there. Um, or react on the other two games, whatever. Um, so City don't know exactly. They have to expect us uh, us to be in a top, top, top shape, and we have to, to, to how I said, we have to show up there and really go for it. There's no, there's no other chance for us, and that that makes yeah. You, you want to play these games. It's, we play City, Chelsea, and Arsenal every season, but in one week is pretty special. And yes, it's difficult, but. It's a situation, and now uh, we are here. Most of the boys are healthy, and let's try and help them and use them and bring them in the best possible um, shape, and let's go. Seven points is the gap to fourth place. Given what you just said about the Madrid game, did this mini break come at a good time then to press that reset? For me, yes. For me, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was ready for a few days without analyzing this game again. Um, oh, yeah, that, yeah, don't even have to talk about it anymore. Um, so, but that's not what we want to be. So, definitely not. So, I have no problem with getting um, knocked out by Real Madrid. And <laughs> Not that I wouldn't be used to it uh, in my career, but it's really, you can play there and you can lose there and everything. But we should more, show more. Than we did that night, but we couldn't. That's not that the boys didn't want to. We couldn't. So, and that's of course my responsibility. So, and that's not. But I still don't like the game. Um, yeah, I was, I was, I was ready, and I'm ready again now again. So that's that's the, the the cool part of it. So it's really you needed a few days to 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 to, to just let it settle and then go again. And yeah, so it's a big it's two months, two months. We can reach a lot for us, or nothing, or whatever. While we are planning all the already the next season, these kind of things, so there's everything in, and it's um, we have to. This is the start, nothing else, but it's an important start. Thank you. Yeah, just looking up from that, then, do you feel that all the time that you've been here, Liverpool have always finished strongly towards the end, the business end of the season? Now that you've had that that little break given to you, do you feel that you can find that form to do that again? It would have been perfect to prepare then the whole team for in these in these two weeks. That would have been great, or uh, give a few days off and then come again because that's not difficult. But yes, it's it's yeah. Historically, uh, we finished strong, but um, we have to, you know, there's there's everything in a little bit. Is this like um, last year nearly four trophies and then this year early mm, clear this trophy is gone and then we go out there, we go out there. So it's a it's it's a proper. Uh, what is that um, thing to bring us down to ground again? To to to, to just understand it was never it was never easy what we what we did before, um, and we, if we do only a little bit less, for whatever reason, then um, it's gone. And that's uh, so. It's really it's really I know for everybody around us and so it's exactly like that. So but now it's clear. This is out 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 out. So now it's clear. Top four is the one thing we really can go for, um, and we don't I mean, we don't have a, a, a perfect position to go there to fight for it, but it's uh, possible. So we have to win a lot of games. But other teams, if we the more games we win, the more pressure we can make on other teams um, above us in the table. And <clears throat> again, a lot of talk now, but in the end, it's all about how we perform and how we get into into this um, yeah into this mood, chasing mood, and, and go from there. Uh, yeah, again, just going back to the injuries, um, does Jeff on Thiago and do you have any other concerns at all? Yeah, we have. Um, so Nabi is out. Uh, he came back with a muscle injury from the national team. We will see how long it takes, but obviously the season is not too long anymore. Might there's a chance, obviously, that Nabi comes back, uh, but we have to wait a little bit. Thiago is in a good way, but was not part of team training yet. Um, I think. If things go well, he, he will probably be part of next week's team training. Part means that's overseeable when he's back. I don't think. Joe Gomez, do you have any 
Joyce Williams has been. Yes, Joyce Williams back. Reese Williams has a little bit of something. I think the pretty much rest is, is, is available. So I come all back. We had little, little, what is it, stomach box here and there. Is that, is that the right saying? Yeah. So, um, uh, but stopped two days ago, so she'll be all right. Given the week and given the fact there are 12 big games, do you have to be mindful about team selection when you've got three big games in a week, or, or is it literally about picking the best team per, per game? I think that's the same. <laughs> Being mindful and picking the best team. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's it. Um, no, I cannot. Uh, so we play Saturday at 12.30 and then we play Tuesday night. So it's a tough. London trips for Northwest teams are like, you better play Champions League game than going to London, honestly, because wherever you, you, ever, you can land everywhere closer to the hotel all over the world than in London. So you fly shorter than you drive afterwards. So, um, but it's by the way the same when you go home. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, that's tough, but um, nothing to do with this game now. We have to go full throttle in all the games. That's how it is. Um, and that's what we try to do. Carl? Hi. Hi. Um, this season, your, your record against the Cubs top six is, is better than. Oh, I thought I expected now something bad. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, positive. No. Not because of you, just the, in general. So. <laughs> Again, start again, I lost it. This is your record against the, top, the current top six is, is the best of, of those teams in that top six play each other. Oh, cool. Yeah, I just wonder what your, your assessment of that is as to, as to why I make the case in a season when you, you're, you, you've lost games against teams like Leeds and Bournemouth and Forest. Why did it happen? Oh, oh. Why? Oh, the main reason is because we didn't play good enough. I think the, the, the two... <sighs> we had an awful lot of chances against Nottingham. Didn't play a super game, but an awful lot of chances. Got a strange, conceded strange goals months ago, but it was like this. Um, they have to score their goal and we have chances like set-piece moments. Birch, I think, from two yards, stuff like this. I think Bournemouth was not complete, but pretty similar. We had our moments, didn't play exceptionally well, but uh, were a clear better side. But in the end, wasn't good enough. We, we, when things are going well and you are and everything is settled and confident stuff like this, then you just finish these situations off and nobody speaks about it because there's not on the head of a player. It's like an inch difference if the ball goes in or not. So, um, but in general, if you don't score, you have just to try harder, to try it differently, and and go again, and 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 still um, uh, kill the game off if you want. But obviously, the, the the problem was in that game again that everything changed after we were one 0 down. Now the Bournemouth game. So this is a bit the story of the season. Uh, so we had obviously in the beginning. You asked me constantly about uh, you have, first have to go one 0 down and then to, to wake up. Uh, now we go one 0 down and everything changed in in the other direction. So that both makes not too much sense, but it's kind of part of the story. Um, and, yeah, but that's a, that was the reason, our reaction after being 1-0 down, because it was 1-0 is just a result, nothing else. It's just an, one information in the game. They scored, they finished one situation off, we didn't, And but let's go from there. And in the end, obviously, um, we, 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 we missed the penalty. I'm pretty sure if the ball doesn't go to the hand in that situation, Diogo's header is in. Um, if you if you watch it back, so would have then preferred that the arm is not there. Um, so these are the situations. There's so many explanations for for, for defeats. I'm always always a lot of lot of lot of explanations, and you cannot even compare Nottingham and Bournemouth. But in both games, we should have won, but we didn't. So should have won because of performance, even when it was not the best performance. And in in the in the other games, obviously, um, we performed better. So that's that's the easy explanation, and it was in the past when we had when we had these problems. It was because we had struggled a little bit in possession against deep defending sides. Each team, by the way, is doing that, but we improved a lot in that. And this part of the game was not the problem in the games we lost. 
because we created, we kept the ball, possession was right, the pass were right, but in the end, we didn't finish it off and reacted bad as a team when we were one nil down. Got too quick in a rush. Yeah, we would, should now go through all these games when we can, to be honest, I don't know it, but we have to be I don't We played a super game at Tottenham, obviously a top game against uh, uh, United. The City home game was super intense. Arsenal was a, <laughs> a very bad day for us because Lewis got injured. The goals they conceded, the ref apologized afterwards um, um, and said, okay, it was not a penalty, sorry, uh, but it, kind of, it doesn't help anymore. The goal they scored was, a, what was it, the dead angle of, 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 the, of the VAR, nobody could see it. <laughs> so it all came together, it was a bit of start of all the, all the things, so um, we could have won this game against a super, super Arsenal team this season, uh, but it would have been possible. Yeah, obviously... When, when, when we are in the game, then we are strong, but we have to make sure we are in the game. So that, that's how it is. It's a, that, that's how it is, and we have to deal with setbacks better. Um, and that's something short, mid, and long term, what we have to work on. Any more for the Just one minute. Yeah, That's actually the, the, the only thing what we do. In an international break, apart from having a few days off, I don't plan training sessions or what because I don't know who is coming back, how, when, and stuff like this. But yeah, we do that. So how successful was it in terms of maybe what you Was good. Well, oh, on the player side, I'm positive. I would say, yeah. But it's talks, it's not decisions. It's talks. But we are busy. You can imagine. Wir haben hier im Ballbau-Section, aber wir können...